Hello. Hello. <laughs> we're Loops and Lap Bars once again. Yep, uh, I'm Tracy. And I'm Dave. Uh, and we're here at Chesington. Um, and I'm going to pref uh, preface this with a warning that it's going to be a bit negative today, I think. It is. Um, we'll get the negative stuff out of the way first. So we've, we only came to the park as a... Um, like sort a, of one-off visit while we're waiting to check into Legoland. Yeah, we'd, we'd got some time to kill uh, after getting back from Europe, so we thought we'd pop in and uh, obviously see the new Jumanji area, which we'll go into in a bit. Uh, but ride operations have been abysmal. Um, for example, we're on Tomb Blaster, yeah. and the train had pulled into the station, the air gates had opened, and then they were batching people to get onto the train. Why weren't they filling the air gates up? So that's the first thing. Yeah. Secondly, Dragon's Fury was exactly the same. Yeah. Um, and then thirdly, food However, offerings. Though, yeah, food offerings are, have been abysmal. You can tell our market here and they're here to stay, which is a shame. Uh, two outlets today, no jacket potatoes, food wasn't sort of ready on time either. And expensive. Um, and, and expensive. And yeah. that's before we went in the smokehouse for essentially a bit a spot of lunch. And they literally, when we went in, they had one guy serving and doing the till. Um, queue was half a mile long. Eventually, they did get more staff in, but them staff should have been in place already, I feel. Yeah, uh, and like I say, I apologise if it comes across as whinging or anything like that, but we feel that it shouldn't be that way. <laughs> um, but that's really the main negatives, the yeah. properly bad things. Uh, moving on to the stuff that's in between it's not good it's not bad yeah um first up is the inconsistency between merlin parks we did go on dragon's fury today and i was expecting to get stapled into the seats i didn't yeah. so that is an actual good thing that i didn't get stapled in but it does make us wonder why alton towers have essentially gone health and safety crazy over it yeah uh the, yeah the spimble wizard and the likes of 13, 13 and such uh whereas on uh, we were expecting that yeah, there was going to be issues on drag uh, on yeah, dragon's fury but no it felt exactly the same as it did in europe yeah uh yeah the uh, the, the right right attempt just pushed the uh, restraint to make sure it was uh, you know clicked in and job done so well did you manage it's not really that much of a world no it's more of a garden <laughs> yeah it's we we're coming on the 22nd uh, of, of may so it's been open uh, a, a week and a lot of the plants have been trampled and a lot of them need, are in ser serious need of watering and the the area just looks like a right mess uh, i mean i pointed out you know as we got into the queue yeah. for mandrel mayhem because we the virtual coon system is good uh, you know that is a good thing uh, but as we got into queue for Mandrel Mayhem, you're looking out uh, across the grass, and it's all, uh, you know, all the, the, the grass is cracked and, uh, and you know, as though it's been left to dry out for months. Yeah. Um, did they not put proper turf down, and, and you know, and, and, or at least water it or something like that? I'm no horticultural expert, but the area does look like the back end of a garden centre that's not been looked after. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's areas of construction you can still see, and... Bits they just haven't covered up. They've not tied it up. Yeah, it's and it just it spoils it. Yeah, uh, like, because it will be yeah. it will be good uh, in time because uh, I've seen uh, for, uh, videos and things like that of Vampire when Vampire first came out and Vampire looked completely exposed. Now it's got the trees that are grown around it. And it's excellent. So you know that's obviously something that can come with time. Um, but I was under the impression that they were going to be buying mature trees and things like that to make it look a bit more like a jungle, jungle but yeah. uh, they've not done that, but you know, that's, that's by the by. As for Mandrel Mayhem, it's, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's an alright coaster, it's a nice addition to Chesington's lineup, but it's, it's nothing to write home about. Yeah, it, for, yeah. for um, a coaster that's, uh, that's been, out, uh, been open a week, uh, I don't know how long it's been stood or anything like that, but um, it bounces around. The the arms of the wing or the wings, I suppose, they seem to wobble, um, and it's only a minor thing. That really, but I've been on coast. We've been, in fact, this week we've been on coasters that are a lot older. Phoenix, yeah. and that has nothing of that, and that goes a lot faster and goes you know upside down a lot more. So I don't know what B and M have done with that. Um, and same with the restraints. I mean, we didn't yeah. have any issues with the restraints on this one, you know, uh, like we've, we've had in pre previous coasters. No, we didn't. The only issue I had was literally getting in because it's quite a high seat up from the floor. Um, yeah, yeah. So if you've got children with short legs, they they're going to struggle with that. They might have to jump into the uh, in, into the seats. 
Um, but other than that, it, it hopefully will develop into a nice area, uh, you know, given time. But it did need some little fences putting up around the uh, the planting, as far as I was, I'm concerned. Um, so that's world of Jumanji. As for the good stuff, because we're not all we're not trying to be negative and trying to be horrible or anything like that, but. Chesington looks the best that it's looked in a very long time. It has, yeah. It's paint refreshed and it's got most of the way through the park from what we've seen because we've been unable to get down into the vampire area today. But um, Dragon's Fury supports, supports, uh, have been painted, not the track, uh, and they yeah. look nice. Uh, so hopefully they'll get the track done. Yeah. Uh, we've Wild got... Asia's been refreshed, which looks really, really nice and it's looking how it probably should do. Yeah. The little dragon area, little dragon play area, that's been refreshed and looks really, really nice. Yeah, it's just... Um, it's and just... a few other buildings around about have been tarted up as well, as has Tomb Blaster. Yeah, to well, Tomb Blaster, um, the ride itself, everything seems to be working, apart from the boulder, which never seems to work. But yeah. all the targets that were, were, were lit were working, were working, today. working yeah. absolutely It looks fine. like it's had a bit of a paint job and there is a bit of a new light package in places that have gone in as well. It's either that or it was never working right. properly before and they've got it working, but yeah. I don't know that one. But uh, yeah, we had a good time on Tomb Blaster, we had a good time on Dragon's Fury. Uh, those are the only two rides we've ridden because we're not really, uh, well, and Mandrel Mayhem, we're not yeah. really here to massively, uh, you know, go hell for leather on the rides because um, it was an impromptu visit. But yeah, I don't quite know what's going on uh, no. with Merlin Parks at the moment. Um, and it's been a bit of an eye opener being in Europe and seeing how the likes of Efteling and Fantasyland, which are family owned parks, or even Plopsaland, uh, Toverland, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the smaller parks, they're doing really good jobs. Yeah. And yet Merlin's supposed to be the second yeah. biggest entertainment you know, franchise on the uh, on the planet after yeah. Disney. And even the big chain of Wallaby, um, the Wallaby parks, we went to Wallaby Belgium this week. Even they're doing things right. And they're doing stuff that Merlin should be doing, but aren't doing. Yeah, uh, if we're taking cost out of the consideration, because I'm not sure on the on the numbers, but I walked into the Condor area yesterday, because uh, we were at uh, Wally Belgium yesterday, uh, and I was impressed with what I saw, because obviously you've got a nice coast there, you've got a nice little area with uh, you know the um, uh, the scenery and stuff like that, and it was nice to yeah. look at. And there's literally only Condor and another flat Con ride Con in that Yeah, area. Condor and Condola. Um, and that, you know, that's kind of it, but it, it works. Works. Whereas I walked into Jumanji and I thought, hmm, yeah. it's not really as impressive as what I was expecting. Maybe that's us that's got higher expectations or something like that. I don't know, um, but it's not terrible. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not bad at all. Is the world of Jumanji? What is terrible is Aramark. I'm going to just say, yeah. just say that. They, they need something doing with them because they cannot be getting away with um, either not having the stock of things or charging ridiculously rip-off prices. For stuff that's not great quality yeah um, but we'll leave it at that one for uh, for, for whinging about aramac i hope that chesington can get it together uh because they you know, they've shown that they're, they're doing things nicely with the painting and whatnot uh and then dragon's fury's got a new shed for uh, the trains to go into when they're doing maintenance and things like that so they you know there's work going in here and there and hopefully jumanji gets uh, uh, yeah. sort of tidied up again um, but yeah, that's Chesington for today. Yeah. Um, sorry, it's been a bit of a moan, but you know, I, I don't. I'm not critiques or anything like that. But we we enjoy theme parks, yep. and we want to enjoy them more. And that's why we're, we're saying all these things and making these comments and such like that because we want Merlin to do well. Yeah. You know, we uh, I like I I loved Merlin as a company up until seeing Plopsland essentially. And it's like oh okay. Um, you know, it's a bit of an eye-opener, uh, you know, seeing other parks and how they're run versus Merlin. And I think it's going to be even worse when we've got Disney later on in the year yeah. and Park Asterix. But, you know, that's, that's by the by. Please, Merlin, if you do watch this, you know, get your act together and make yourself great again. Yeah. Please. <laughs> we'll leave it at that for today. Anything else yeah. to add? No, no. Oh, we forgot to actually, one oh. thing we forgot to add. Oh yeah, refill refillable drinks. <laughs> finally, they've finally got proper refillable drinks at Chesington. Uh, the, for those of you that have been coming here a while, they have been a long time coming. Yeah. I'm glad the previous sort of difficult to understand system has now gone. Yep. They've also got a couple of extra refresh and refill stations around the park as well. There's one now in Wild Asia, there's one down in Jumanji. 
would be nice if they could maybe put one down towards vampire yeah because um, uh, otherwise if, yeah. you, if you if you're by the vampire queue the closest one would be um, the donut shopping adventure point which is yeah it sounds like you know oh I don't want to do much walking but all the others are dotted so close together they could have done with you know, spacing them out a little bit more but uh, still good thing that they've got those yeah. in and they've got the new generation machines as well um, so there's you know there's different things in there uh, very similar to the ones that we've seen in Europe so yeah. Um, you know that's another sort of good thing but uh, yeah sorry it's been a bit all over the place and we'll leave it with that so yep. that's Chessington for today